logistic market is uh, doing really well. It's one of the strongest performing real estate sectors out there and we think it will really benefit in the future from its strong fundamentals. One of the main drivers behind the success of logistics is the rise of e-commerce. We've all started to buy much more online than ever before and not only fashion but also groceries. And the thing is with um, online sales, it requires three times more logistics space than a standard retail unit shop in a high street. Just look at the number of fans driving through your street of DHL and Amazon and you know this trend is unstoppable. But it's not only about e-commerce and online sales, which is the biggest driver, but it's also about the building of inventory levels and the nearshoring trend. And that has been triggered by, by COVID-19 because we've learned that long distance supply chains between Asia and Europe have proven to be very uh, vulnerable. Uh, a recent example is the uh, shoes channel blocking by a large container ship. And the building of inventory levels means you make your supply chain more resilient. And with nearshoring, bringing back manufacturing activities to Europe means that production is taking place closer to home again the supply chain is, is shorter. So the demand side for logistics is really strong because of these mega trends and supply can't keep up with that. So that means there is um, a lack of modern stock available, vacancy rates are at historic lowest levels and rents are picking up. But also a lot of investors are looking to build up exposure to the sector. So there's a lot of capital flowing into the logistic market and that means that property values are also uh, going up, which we recognize in our own portfolio, which is um, of high quality. So with this portfolio, we think we're very well positioned to benefit from these uh, large trends um, with uh, yeah, positive capital growth expectations going forward. Yeah, on the portfolio, I can say we've built a very high quality liquid portfolio across five uh, different countries in Europe, 16 assets in total. The majority is brand new. 11 of the 16 assets were brand new at time of purchase. And um, we've built up exposure uh, to uh, countries such as the Netherlands, France, Germany, Spain and Poland. Not the UK because we think that um, the UK is more advanced in the property cycle and uh, we've found more interesting opportunities on the continent where you're benefiting from full indexation of rents, so providing you with an inflation hedge, which is very important, I think, in today's market. That's not the case when you're investing in the UK. And also on the continent, you find more attractive financing terms where German banks are really active. And another reason is that the online penetration, the growth in online sales um, is still in the early days on the continent compared to the UK. So we really think that a lot of growth will come through in the next five years. And that's why we think the opportunity really sits um, on the continent. In terms of the focus that we have, um, we're focusing on mid-sized big boxes and the last mile delivery hubs or urban logistics. And why is that? Because we think this is the most liquid part of the market where you see a lot of leasing transactions taking place where um, uh, you can find an alternative in, in case, let's say, a tenant leaves your building. And that's why we have that focus. We're not focusing on the ultra big boxes where only a few companies can take that space. So liquidity is really important for us. And liquidity can also be defined by um, its location. So uh, locations where we are buying assets are located alongside the main transport corridors in Europe or close to the largest cities and um, they can be considered as established. In terms of asset specifications, what is uh, li liquid is uh, buildings with enough uh, loading doors so there's enough capacity for the in and outbound of goods where there is enough uh, free height to store goods in the racks and where the floors are strong enough to hold these uh, goods. ESG credentials, also very important. It's growing in importance because it's really important uh, for the companies we're working together with, our tenants, to reduce their carbon footprint. So the majority of our buildings, nine out of 16, have uh, solar panels on top of its, uh, of its roof. 
So that's the kind of assets and focus that we uh, that we have. Uh, one of the most recent purchases is a brand new warehouse in a place called Wuj in Poland, which is one of the top three logistic locations in Poland. And it's very well known for its concentration of manufacturing companies such as Boss, Siemens, Whirlpool, uh, that are located here as this kind of assembly is labor intensive and labor costs are low in Poland. Check for example the electronic equipment in your kitchen you will probably find a Polish uh, sticker on it and the tenants in our building have a direct link with, uh, with the industry and the location is excellent uh, as well as is located alongside the Silk Road railway connection between China and Europe. So it's a perfect location for assembly and export to countries across Europe. Our latest acquisition is a two-year-old warehouse in Barcelona, making us fully invested right now. It's um, a perfect example of urban logistics, as Barcelona is um, one of the fastest growing cities in Europe, so there's competition for building land, which is difficult to find as the city is uh, supply constrained by nature, uh, thanks to the presence of the sea at the east side and the mountains at the west side. So we have high expectations for future value growth for this asset. Well, the trust has performed really well. Over the last 12 months, uh, we have achieved double digit returns um, supported by a strong rent collection and capital appreciation in our property portfolio. Um, we're targeting a distribution of 5% per annum and we have a total return target of 7.5%, which we have outperformed in the last 12 months until uh, the end of June 2021. We have achieved a total NAV return of 14.7% and a share price total return performance of 18.5%. Um, we are paying out quarterly dividends. Um, over the last four quarters, we paid out the total distribution of 5.64 cent per ordinary share, which equals to 4.9p. First of all, I think we're in a really good position today. We built a very high quality uh, liquid portfolio that's really well positioned to benefit from uh, the future growth that we are seeing in the market with the rise of e-commerce. Uh, we have always said that we have the ambition to grow the trust and um, together with our local resources, which is really one of our USP, uh, we're able to find uh, on and off market uh, deals across Europe. Um, out of the current 16 assets that we're holding, 11 were um, raised on an off-market base, so that means we didn't have any competition from any other buyers, and that's how we work. So scale does matter, the property market is a local market, and you need to have access with your local boots on the ground to find these uh, deals. So that's also why we're reaching out uh, to the market today for um, new capital because we have uh, created a pipeline with interesting deals in France, Spain and, and Poland. And in order to execute these, um, we need to have new capital. So we're diversifying the portfolio into more markets and new assets. Mm -hmm.